black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, I went grocery shopping and I saw some huge ass bread. So I grabbed it and toasted it up because in the fridge at home I had chicken salad that I had made and egg salad that I made because it was one of those times in life where you just have a bunch of shit in the fridge and you're like, I gotta use this stuff up. So that's where I was at. So I made a chicken salad out of leftover rotisserie chicken, which you could see me applying to this ginormous slice of bread with some nice crispy iceberg lettuce. We're keeping it simple. We'll talk about the recipe in the eating portion where I don't talk, but now I am talking. I'm doing a voiceover. It's, we're trying something new here today. I just thought of it. So that's what that looks like. Here comes the egg salad. We're just doing a little cheese on the bottom, a little unevenly cut cheddar cheese. In this recipe, there's just celery, pickle, salt, a little bit of Dijon uh, mustard, and then mayonnaise. It's very, very simple. And the, uh, the eggs, of course, I did uh, four, four eggs for this. A little bit of acidity, a little bit of heat with these uh, little peppers. We've got the crispy onions, of course, going on everything. And then top it off with some lettuce and then pop on the top to the sandwich. And then we're pretty much eating after that. And uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about some random shit while you watch me eat in a voiceover fashion. So, something new here, but let's get into this eating. As you can see, I got the double deckers and uh, they're in the way, so I gotta get them out the way, but we're gonna eat more than a half each. But the question is, what came first, the chicken or the egg, is what I was thinking here. And uh, it's the age old question, but for me, it's the chicken because A, I was craving it more, and B, because it's less messy. Because I know that egg is gonna squirt everywhere when I eat it, so. The chicken because it's less messy. Anyways, I was craving chicken salad for a multitude of reasons. First being, I had a rotisserie chicken in the fridge that I needed to use up. And uh, I was like, what am I gonna do with that? And in my head, I was just like, I haven't made chicken salad in forever. So I cut off the breast part of it because I don't like the nasty dark meats and the jiggly meats and stuff in chicken salad. I like to keep it strictly to the, to the breast, to the white. And uh, I just cut it down, chop it into chunks. You know, I don't like pull it or make it, you know, kind of mushy like I try, I try to keep it chunky anyways cut that up and then this is my uncle's recipe he, he put me on game for this which is basically mayo half and then half like coleslaw dressing so it's sweet and then you also put salt uh celery um some chopped up cashews and raisins and I know it sounds insane but it is actually so delicious. You could even add a touch of Dijon mustard. I did, I did that actually in this, but on this type of bread and just keeping it with this kind of, you know, strange recipe, it seems weird, but it's not. You got fat, you got salt, you got different textures and you got sweet. So it's like, I don't know, it's really, really good. Anyway, I was craving that because he texted me from the hospital randomly because he had knee replacements done. So he's in the hospital and he told me that the food there is revolting and that they gave him some nasty things that he's been turning his nose up at for uh, his, his duration while he's healing. Um, <laughs> so I sent him a message back of making the chicken salad sandwich recipe that he put me on game to. And he told me that I was basically torturing him in the hospital uh, <laughs> while he's recovering from knee surgery. So there's that. As per why I didn't talk in this video right off the top is because I was just, I'll be honest with you, I just was like in like a bummed out mood today, sort of, for the last day, day and a half. I weirdly watched Shawshank Redemption for comfort. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I did that last night and it was weirdly comforting to watch Shawshank Redemption for some reason. Just a timeless classic, great movie. Um, and then I also binge watched Joe Millionaire. 
the new season, like the newer, I think because I think it came out in like the early double O's or the late 90s or triple O's, I should say. And then I, I think they rebooted it, but I started watching it. I got addicted and then I just crushed the whole thing. And uh, I don't know, it's an okay watch. It's basically Bachelorette sort of deal, but just a little different version of a game show or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, this sandwich is delicious. The ice maker also in the background, always getting up to it. <laughs> I really should just unplug that thing when I make videos, but at the same time, I've done that in the past and I always forget to plug it back in. And the next thing I know, I go to get ice and then there's no ice because I forgot to plug it in because I get sidetracked with editing and you know, these things in life. Sometimes you just stack your egg that's already fell out back on top and then it falls off too. So it's basically like you have no ice and then you drop your egg everywhere from your sandwich too. So you know, these things they happen. But anyways, been a bomber boy for like a little bit and it's like, I know, I get it. I'm grateful. Other people's lives are really quite shitty and it always could be worse but that doesn't shouldn't invalidate you feeling the way you feel at a time in your life just because the world is an unjust unfair cruel and shitty place predominantly and that your lot in life is technically like absolutely amazing compared to somebody else i understand that and it sucks. That's half the reason why I'm bummed out most of the time. It's because I actually look around the world and I see how many people are just having a shit time. Like a really, really shit time. Like a third world time. You know what I mean? And that shit gets to me. A lot of shit gets to me. And so... I don't know. But we have our funks and our downtimes and our things that of our own lives and thinking about the world and what's happening in the world and the shit that affects us and I say that you should be allowed to be affected by the things that affect you don't live in them forever obviously but you know you should be allowed to feel what you feel for the time that you feel it is all I'm saying okay because that shit pisses me off when people are just like oh suck it up buttercup like it could be so much worse and they're right but at the same time it's like that doesn't mean that we can't feel the feelings. You know what I mean? But anyways. The sandwich is banging. I chose the second half of the chicken salad. Because that's really where it was hitting. Like the flavor crave. Everything for me in this video is right where it was at. With the chicken salad sandwich. Like that's really where it was at. So if you feel intrigued to try it, give it a try. Uh, it is a bit of a strange recipe, you know what I mean? I, I can understand how some people would be like that. It seems really crazy, and it is a little bit, but I swear to God, it is very, very good. Anyhow, that uh, that was definitely the move in this one for me, is the, uh, the chicken salad sandwich. And uh, I don't know, this is a different format that I just want to try <laughs> maybe one time, because I felt inclined to for whatever reason but uh you know sometimes i just wanna i just wanna eat and not really say anything and just really enjoy the food because a lot of times in previous life settings that's what i would do i would put on like a movie or a show or whatever and i would just you just be quiet and you zone in on your food and you have like your zen time with your food and you just relax and eat and just have your little moment and everything and sometimes the camera steals a little bit of that from you so we're trying it this way today anyhow sandwich is banging very very good and uh i'll just leave it at that for these last couple of bites you can just observe me just eating and uh that'll be that all right Different things. Okay.